As you already know, Weebly is my favorite web design platform, but one of their drawbacks is their theme options can be quite limited. Um, they've gotten better since the Weebly 4 update, but I'd still like to see some extra customization and features that you just don't see right now. So I often find myself going to premium Weebly template designers like Webfire Themes uh, to add that extra spice and flair to my website and really make them stand out and pop uh, in a crowded industry. So let's delve deeper into Webfire Themes and see if their premium Weebly templates are worth your hard earned cash. So we're going to break this review down into three main categories, things you should be looking for in a good Weebly theme developer. First we're going to look at the quality of the themes, then we'll take a look at the ease of use, in other words how easy it is to actually customize these things. Uh, and finally number three, the customer support. And just before we dive into all that, I'll give you my initial thoughts uh, of once I land on Webfire Themes website. You know, When you're looking at a, a company that is selling web design products, you know, their website should stand out. It should look great because that is what they're selling. So when you land on Webfire Themes and we take a look at their website, right away you can tell that they have a lot of knowledge and experience when it comes to web design. The website's beautiful. It's got uh, functioning graphics, icons, uh, clear call to actions, um, really stands out, it's really well made, fully responsive. Uh, and what's coolest about all of this is that, you know, they're selling Weebly themes and this entire site, their own site, is built in Weebly. So they definitely practice what they preach um, and really gives you an idea of what you can expect to hopefully make with your themes or with your Weebly website if you purchase Webfire themes, one of their templates. So with that said, we got our initial thoughts out of the way. It's a good start. Let's take a look at those three categories and see if Webfire themes, uh, how their themes stack up against other premium developers. So let's take a look at the quality of the templates from Webfire themes first. Um, they have about 15 or 16 Weebly themes to choose from, and they're pretty regularly coming out with new ones. As you can see, Verbena is their newest one. And if you take a look at an overview of each of these templates, you can see that they're all high quality, beautifully made, uh, heavy emphasis on imagery and videos. Uh, so they're up to date with modern uh, web design trends. And they take a lot of the guesswork out of building a website with Weebly. But we'll get into that a little bit more later. So let's take a look at an example of one of Webfire Themes templates. Uh, one of my favorites is Morph, this one right here. Let's see what that looks like. So here's a live demo of the Morph theme from Webfire Themes. Um, let's take a look at some of the features they have here. So Webfire Themes kind of they emphasize being able to um, simplify, like simply make a beautiful website. So they might not have a full customization. Um, but they have amazing features already built into these individual themes. So as we scroll down, you can see things like these uh, static counters, um, those little fun little graphics and different colors, and uh, you can customize obviously what the numbers mean and, and what they represent. Uh, styled block quotes, these custom image slideshows, obviously the different style buttons. Actually, let's take a look at those slideshows too on the home page. See them in action. So really beautifully made. And you don't actually, like this is all comes pre-made in the template. All you would basically have to do is add the image here and then the text and basically like the rest of Weebly, it's pretty straightforward, <clears throat> excuse me, really well made. Um, and of course you have the different menu options. So if you don't like the sidebar, side menu option over here, you can do the top menu which is more of a, a standard look what more, most websites look like these days. So you have the menu across the top instead of along the side. But again, the same features, it's automatically adjusted to fit widescreen now instead of having the side menu on the left hand side. Same features. And I don't know if you noticed uh, back on this home page with the side menu, look at this little blurb here. As you scroll down, it changes shape and color. 
pretty cool. So stuff like that, that Webfire Themes really does a great job of putting that unique style uh, and flair into each of their themes. So really well made, uh, high quality obviously as you can see. So why don't we take a look now at how easy it is really to customize these themes and see how easy, it, easy they are to use. So it's great to have a beautiful and stunning Weebly template and everything, but another important factor is how easy it is to customize. How easy will it be for you to uh, make the modifications and, and customize the website to make it look like exactly how you want it to look? So when, uh, when you upload Webfire's theme, we're working with Morph this time, um, the one we just showed. This is what it looks like when you upload it into Weebly. So all I've basically done is I've taken a, temp, a standard template website from Weebly and just kind of transferred the content over to Webfire's theme. Obviously right now you can see the formatting doesn't look great, so we're going to have to change that. But this is what it looks like uh, when you upload Webfire's morph theme into Weebly. So let's take a look at how easy it is to customize. So I'm not a huge fan of the side menu. I prefer the top menu myself. So if we go over to theme and go to theme options, this is where Webfire themes really stands out. Uh, standard Weebly themes will usually just have like a handful of options here that you can switch on and off. But as you can see with Webfire, uh, you've got dozens of options here to really tone and customize uh, your website. So like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the side menu. So right here we have the option for side menu. I'm going to switch that off. Bam. Just like that, it switches to a top menu. Already the formatting of the content below is looking a bit better. Um, and then we can look at things like one page menu, you can switch that on and off. Uh, if you have a one page menu, um, that's basically a website where it's only one page so you don't need to have all the, uh, like these basically would link to different sections of the site, which is really cool, instead of linking to another page. Um, but we're going to do a multiple page so we can switch that off. And then we have the standard pages up here, social links there. Uh, menu effects, those are usually just like, uh, you know, special effects that happen. You can see that in the actual preview of the site. Static animation, that's also a kind of a, a light animation that plays over the header image that you can turn on and off. So little things like that, really easy to just switch off the phones, emails, info bars, you can turn that off as well. See, kind of make the nav a bit smaller. A lot of customiza customization options that are here that standard Weebly templates wouldn't provide. Um, also, it can change the main color, and that would um, change little things around the website. It won't change the, the nav menu, then we'll get into that. So other Weebly developers, uh, Weebly theme developers, kind of like, for example, Bamboo Studio, they make it a bit easier to change the colors. They have those options listed here as well. With Webfire, it's a bit more complicated. Um, you do have to go into the coding still to make these types of color changes. So we'll go into the HTML and CSS. Uh, the good news is they've done a great job of really labeling where all the content is, where you need to modify stuff like that. So if we're looking to, to change the colors on our website, there's a section dedicated to that right down here. It says variables. So if we click that, this is where you'll see all the variables. So you've got the fonts listed here. You've got the body background, which would be the white content, the white space you see down here. Color scheme, home slider, carousels. So the blue basically just is the label for what you're changing, and the purple is the color. So you'll have to know what the specific color code is uh, for the color you want, which you can, there's a number of ways you can get that. Photoshop is usually how I do it, it's the easiest. But so you'll see here all the different options, menu navigation, info bar with logo and contact. It's all clearly, clearly labeled. So while it's not as easy as some other developers have made it, it is still, if you're comfortable getting into the HTML and CSS and just going to this variables page, uh, it is quite easy to switch the colors and really customize the website to fit your brand. Um, but like I said, there are developers that do make that easier by having that um, directly in the theme options here. So it comes down to how comfortable you are with getting into simple, simple HTML and CSS. I have no problem with it. And I mean, there's a lot of tutorials out there, even ones that I've made uh, that will show you how to, to make those changes. Um, I still think it's quite easy, but yeah, like I said, there are some developers that have made it a bit simpler out there, such as Bamboo Studio.
So now we get into the customer support. And when you start toying around and messing with coding and some modifications in web design, uh, it can be kind of easy to uh, mess up and, and find yourself in a spot uh, where you're a little confused and you need some help. So there's two different types of customer support. There's the self-help kind where you get instructions and tutorials to uh, that explain how to solve problems and, and common issues. And then there's the one, or there's, there's the type of customer support where you reach out to speak to someone directly. So let's take a look at the first type of customer support. When you buy a theme from Webfire Themes, um, like if we're working again with the Morph theme, so here's, you get a, a link to an instructions page that gives you all the instructions you need to install, set up, and start using your theme. Here's what the page looks like. Uh, and it's broken down into different categories, getting started, installing the theme, header types, da 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 um, And you can just click on one. So let's say I'm looking to customize my theme options. Just click on that. We jump down to that section and we get really detailed instructions on how to customize our website with this theme. For example here, the theme options, they're all clearly labeled and explained what they mean because Frankly, sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming, especially when you get down into the uh, sections here and sliders. And each one is clearly uh, explained. So it really helps uh, to kind of guide you and hold your hand along the way. If you don't uh, know much about web design, you get a lot of clear instructions. Again, with the colors, we know you have to get into the HTML and CSS um, to change those, but they show you exactly how to do it and even have some examples here with the coding here where you can play around and uh, try it out in a safe place before you uh, try it out on your own website. So very clear and uh, helpful instructions. So they pass the first test. So the second would be the customer support where you actually have to reach out to talk to someone. Uh, so Webfire Themes doesn't provide a phone number to call to get in touch with them, but frankly that's not uncommon these days as companies are often located uh, globally. In fact, Webfire Themes, I believe, is based out of the UK, so time zones can be kind of messy. So they have a contact form on their website where you can get in touch with them. You get a ticket that's automatically submitted. And anytime I've ever had to do this, I had a response from them within 24 hours. So in my books, that's, that's pretty good. Um, I've never had any issues with their support. When they finally did get in touch with me, uh, they definitely uh, walked me through whatever issue I was facing and the team at Webfire uh, oftentimes will actually even fix the issue for you. If you bought the theme, you um, get some support that comes along with it. They're not very specific about what kind of support does come with it, but they're really there to, uh, to help you out if you run into any issues or get confused along the way. So customer support, great stuff. Bonus time. In addition to Webfire's Weebly templates and themes, they also have a feature called the Widge which is essentially a Weebly widget generator. So what that means is you can make custom widgets or features and input them into your website. Let me show you what I mean. So um, I talk about it a little bit more on my blog post on Webfire themes, but the widget basically allows you to build features like text boxes uh, with uh, colors and buttons behind it, or icon dividers, or toggles, tabs, accordions, slide captions, things like that. So as an example, let's look at the text box with color. So if I want to make a text box with color, this is what the widget would look like. I basically input the different color and the, the background color and the text color I want to see, uh, how big the border is going to be, and then what the transparency would be. And I actually made a little GIF here to kind of show it in action. So what happens here is you're basically creating this uh, widget code that you will copy and paste into your website. So here you would input the background color you want to see. And you see over here on the right hand side, it's being live previewed. Uh, you choose your text color and then you type in what text you want to go into the box. And that's what I came up with at the time because that's all I could. And then once you're done, you just copy and paste the widget code into your website. Paste it there done because Weebly has that embed code feature where you just click and drag embed code and then you paste the code that you generated in the widget generator 
and there you have your special color box with text. So it's a it might sound kind of confusing, um, but at the moment, uh, Webfire Themes is coming out with their new version of the Widge, so they don't have it uh, available for me to show you live how it works. Um, but if you have any questions, please comment below or shoot me an email, uh, and I'll help you out. But it's really cool because you can add all these additional features that um, Weebly doesn't offer themselves. So to summarize, I've been very impressed with what Webfire Themes has to offer. Uh, I've bought many of their themes and used them in many of my uh, website designs for my clients. And while they might not be as simple and straightforward as some of their competitors, um, like Bamboo Studio, I would definitely put them up there with uh, my uh, as a tie with Bamboo Studio as two of my favorite places to get premium Weebly themes. Um, always keep in mind, of course, once you start delving into premium themes like this and getting into more customizations that you want to be you know fairly comfortable with what um, what you're doing with Weebly and sometimes you will have to do some HTML or CSS modifications with Webfire um, if that sounds like something that's a little too daunting for you you might be better suited for uh, Bamboo Studio and I have a review of their uh, Weebly themes as well you can watch that otherwise I highly recommend Webfire if you have any issues or problems trying to uh, get your theme to work, shoot me an email or comment below. Feel free to get in touch with me. And uh, thanks for watching this review. I hope it was helpful.